After the epic journey, we return back to the city of Kotakinabalu to rest and recuperate at the Pacific Cetera Harbour Resort. The resort stands upon the shoreline, overlooking the South China Sea, and is home to two five-star hotels, private marina, golf course, and an array of different recreational facilities. The resort is in a prime location, situated only a few minutes from the city centre and around 10 minutes from the airport. Relax in style and luxury at the Pacific Cetera Hotel. This modern hotel enjoys sea views as well as views of the resort's beautifully landscaped 27 hole golf course. The hotel is surrounded by manicured gardens which back onto swimming pools and a secluded private cove. Enjoy the water lapping upon the shore as you lounge upon the beach. The rooms are spacious and refined, equipped with air conditioning and all the modern amenities. Next door to the Pacific Cetera Hotel is the Magellan Cetera Resort, a five-star resort which overlooks the marina, the perfect place for that tropical holiday getaway. Both hotels share an impressive array of facilities. Relax in one of the landscape pools around the resort, or swim up and down their Olympic-sized swimming pool. Play bowling with your friends at the resort's 12-lane 10-pin bowling centre, or simply work out at the fully equipped fitness centre, which has a sauna and hot tub. The resort also has a children's daycare centre, so you can drop off your children with a peace of mind knowing that they are in safe hands when you rest and relax undisturbed. The daycare centre is also home to a cafe serving a mouth-watering selection of cakes. The private harbour is a portal to many different islands which are just a stone throws away. After plenty of rest and relaxing, it's time to continue along with the adventure. We have explored mountains high and rivers low. Now it's time to explore the sea. Tunku Abdul Rahman Marine Park is located just off the coast of Kotakinabalu. The marine park is home to several tropical islands. More than the marine park lies Borneo Reef World, a gateway to the underwater kingdom. In a matter of no time we were at the pontoon. The setting is picturesque with beautiful tropical islands as the backdrop. The two-level pontoon is home to an underwater observatory, which allows you to descend to the depths of the ocean while remaining dry. Enjoy the spectacular views of the reef, which teem with marine life, a myriad of fishes in abundance. The pontoon is also home to some giant grouper. These fish are of titanic proportions. They feed upon smaller fish and jump every time you throw a snack in. I'm about to descend under the deep blue sea. Uh, we're gonna go sea walking, but it should be safe. But having so much water above my head is pretty daunting nevertheless but it's meant to be the ideal activity for those that can't swim. This is actually the biggest pontoon in the whole of Southeast Asia, and actually the second biggest in the whole wide world, so quite an engineering marvel in itself. So now we gotta pack up, we gotta get ready, dress up, ready to go, and wish me luck. With the briefing done, it's time to descend into the realms of the fishes and enter the underwater domain. The bell jar is incredibly heavy, weighing in at around 26 kilograms. Once you are submerged, the bell jar will feel weightless. Descending slowly down the staircase and periodically holding one's nose and blowing out sharply will help equalize the pressure. The amount of fish is quite staggering. Surrounded by shoals of different colored fish which are perpetually moving, never staying still for an instant. The professional divers are a hand to assist and guide you through your aquatic journey. 
and also take photos of you to cherish the moment forever. As soon as you bring the food for the fishes out, the fish flock towards you, the food acting like a homing beacon. All the fish set their eyes upon you, focus in and bear down upon your position, surrounding you in a dense blanket of fish, all trying to get a nibble of the food. The density of the fish is overwhelming, a flurry of fish so dense you can't even see more than a few feet away. Towards the end of the walk, you head towards a coral bed to see giant clams and corals of different colours and shapes, which are home to little fish which enjoy weaving in and out of them. That was definitely a surreal experience, to be a fish for 20 minutes, to hang around with the fishies. Though one may be a bit daunted about all that water above you, it's actually not as bad as it looks. Not as bad as it looks. Definitely, definitely one to try. And wow, is all I can say. Not only can one play under the water, one can also play on its surface too. Canoe across the water and jump over to the nearby islands. After all that canoeing, it's time to eat. Borneo Reef World provides a rich buffet full of a variety of sumptuous local dishes. After our tasty meal, it's time to proceed to Sapi Island. The island is but a short journey away by boat. Stepping onto the island is like stepping onto paradise, and there is certainly no shortage of things to do on the island. This tropical island offers a place to camp in paradise, chill out under the shade of the trees, relax on the beautiful beachfront, swim and play in the crystal clear shallow warm waters and try some snorkeling. And last but by no means least, zip lining. But this is no regular zip line. The Sapi Island zip line spans the open ocean connecting one island to another. The start of the zip line is on the next island, which is just a stone's throw across the water. With all the safety gear on, it's time to attempt the world's longest island to island zip line. It's time to bite the bullet and step over the edge. Going down the zip line feels like you're soaring through the air like a bird in flight. Quite exhilarating. Perfect for thrill seekers adrenaline junkies and anyone else who wants a little bit of excitement in their lives. Though rather daunting at first, I'm sure you'll want a few more goes before the day's end. The next island on the list to visit is Gaia Island, which is accessible from Satera Harbour. Gaia Island Resort is a luxury resort set upon a white sand beach backed by lush tropical rainforest. From the moment you step onto the pier, you feel like you have entered a place where all your worries can simply fade away. A tropical paradise, a place of rest and relaxation, a place far removed from the hustle and bustle of city life. The resort has a temple-like feel with this elegant Sabahan-inspired architecture. The villas are set upon the hillside, nestled amongst the lush green rainforest, each building blending in with the natural environment. Modernity and style framed by greenery to create a sense of serenity and calm. The modern villas are elegant and spacious, and equipped with all the modern necessities. The contemporary villas have an especially large open plan bathroom with an oversized bathtub and an outdoor veranda with daybeds. These villas make for an ideal honeymoon getaway.
await to witness the spectacular sunrise from your bedroom. The resort's facilities are equally impressive. Go for a swim in the lap pool and enjoy light refreshment at the poolside bar. Or bask in the sun's golden warm rays and let all the stress of modern life fade away. Work out while enjoying views of the beach onto the South China Sea and beyond. Or lose yourself in a novel in the resort's library. Or for a treat, head to the spa village for the ultimate pampering experience of a lifetime. The spa village's tranquil setting amongst the mangroves help you to connect and be one with nature. The spa offers a plethora of spa treatments to suit your every need and will help you to remove any worries or stress in your life. And the spa village is home to a yoga studio as well as health spa. The health spa showcases some of Sabah's local materials. Enjoy a rejuvenating body scrub formed by the finest, fresh, natural ingredients to replenish and revitalize your skin. The spa is inspired by Mother Nature herself, an experience soon not to be forgotten. Check out the Fisherman's Cove restaurant, which is situated atop the resort's rooftop. This fine dining experience offers exquisite food while enjoying views out and across the ocean. And at night time, the opportunity to eat under the moonlit sky. Or try dining at Feast Village and experience a gastronomic experience which relieve your taste buds wishing for more. The Feast Village offers a diverse range of cuisine from across the whole of Southeast Asia, as well as offering Western style dishes reflecting the multinational, multi-ethnic nature of Malaysia. Each meal is expertly prepared by a team of talented chefs. It's the perfect family dining experience. Also served at the Feast Village is the daily breakfast buffet, full of pastries and bread straight from the bakery. A full continental breakfast, cereal, fresh fruits, the works. To get your day off to a healthy start, Try making your own healthy fruit shake to accompany your breakfast. For those that enjoy luxury resorts, there are plenty more in the region, each offering something different. However, one resort stands out in particular on account of its more unusual residents. Shangri-La Razaria Resort is more than just a luxury hotel set by the sea with pristine white sand beaches and manicured gardens, is an ecological treasure trove too. The reserve spans 64 acres and safeguards many endangered species endemic to Sabah. A highlight of the reservation is the infant orangutans which find sanctuary here. The reserve starts them on their path of rehabilitation with the eventual aim of being reintroduced back into their natural habitat. Absolutely amazing how human-like these orangutans are. They're so dexterous, they're so... Oh, there's one coming out now. Hello. He's ignoring me, he's not looking at me. Originally I thought orangutans were actually named so after orange, but apparently orang means people and tang is forest, so literally people of the forest. And you can see how this guy's behaving. He's definitely acting like a human there. Hello. Oh my word, look at you. Oh, their faces as well, just look like us. Not only does the Nature Reserve raise ecological awareness to visitors, but also collaborates with many schools across the region to inform the local communities as well. The orangutan is the largest tree-dwelling mammal in the world. They are perfectly designed for jungle living, with their hand-like feet and iron grip. Typically, they should spend the first seven or eight years by their mother's side to learn the trade of jungle survival, hence the importance of such sanctuaries. Orangutans are truly marvellous creatures and are said to be amongst the most intelligent of all the primates. Tourists can also participate in the Adopt an Orangutan programme to help with the continuing efforts to preserve these spectacular creatures.
the journey is almost at an end, but no holiday could be complete without a visit to the local handicraft market to find those ideal souvenirs. These are big. Yeah, this is The marketplace yeah, is full expensive. to the brim yeah. with pearls upon pearls of every conceivable shape and colour. The market is full of native fabrics, local handicrafts and an ensemble of different knickknacks. Yeah, Some more balls. You could wander around the market for hours, always finding wow. something new. Like this bird caller. Also, there are native instruments in and around the market. There are many local instruments, ranging from pan pipes made of bamboo, to rattles made from the husk of nuts, to maracas made from coconuts. Put them all together, and you can make some native music. But why stop at the market? There is a whole city to be explored. City tours are readily available and Kotakina Balu is full of architecturally interesting buildings. Perhaps one of the most iconic buildings in Kotakina Balu is the Saba Foundation Building, which was constructed in 1977. This 30-storey building soars to a height of 122 metres and is the tallest building in Kotakina Balu and the second tallest building in the whole of the island of Borneo. The multicultural diversity of the city is mirrored in its architecture. From stunning mosques to beautiful Buddhist temples and modern Christian cathedrals, all manner of religions live side by side in harmony. But perhaps the best place to get a view of the city skyline is Signal Hill, which offers panoramic views of the city, Laikas Harbour, the sea and the islands beyond. Saba is gifted with natural diversity in abundance. Embark upon a natural odyssey which has everything from human-like orangutans to playful macaques and long-nosed proboscis monkeys through to an underwater kingdom teeming with corals and vivid marine life. For the adventurous, enjoy the challenge of climbing Mount Kinabalu or take a ride on the world's longest island-to-island -island zip line while you go from island-to-island -island exploring. Relax in luxury in one of the many beach-fronted resorts while you soak up the warm tropical sun and enjoy the renowned Sabahan hospitality. Explore the rich tapestry of different races and religions throughout Sabah and feast upon the many gastronomic delights. Discover the rich cultural and historical heritage of the region, from ethnic tribes through to the British colonial heritage. There is so much to do in Sabah, and you will certainly not be disappointed.